today's a pretty big day. So today is pretty sick because iOS 11 just came out, which means... screen recorder is out for iPhone. And today I actually recorded my first Pokemon on the screen recorder. I'm gonna do a reaction for what it was like right now. Here, watch here, it's gonna be over here. See, look. Nice. And also by the time that you're watching this, the new event is going on right now, the Equinox event. This is, look, see, very nice. So by the time you're watching this, that event had already happened, but the time that I'm recording it, which is the day before, the event has not happened. So I'm gonna go over to West Park and we're gonna talk about the event a little bit. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, well, before I go, I gotta change out of my work clothes. So I really wanna do the Bruce Almighty thing, you know, when it goes like, whoosh, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, now let's go for real. And we're here. The first thing I'm gonna do is throw a bunch of egg incubators in right now because part of the new event tomorrow is a special 2Ks. And I have a whole bunch of 5Ks that I've just been building up because I didn't wanna spend any money on incubators. Uh, so I'm gonna throw all these guys in incubators now so I can clear up some space for technically today for if you're watching this or a while ago if you're not watching this on the day that it came out. Um, so that I can clear up some space for the new special 2Ks because part of the event is special 2Ks that have things like Mareep, Larvitar, Chansey, and probably other cool rare stuff in them. So I'm gonna get rid of all these 5Ks so that I can make space for those 2Ks. Okay, coughing's sort of rare, right? <clears throat> The second thing, well, really the first thing, I guess, um, I wanted to do the egg thing first just because that was in, in, that was in order. The main important part of this event is the double stardust. There's gonna be double stardust for the whole length that's out, which I think is today, so September, what is it, September 21st or something, until October 2nd or something like that. So that's like a good, a little over a week, two weeks for double stardust, which is huge, because stardust is the number one resource that's needed in the game. I don't know why I'm using a pineapple berry. I'm not gonna use a pineapple berry. <sighs> The other things that are gonna come along with this event are not only Double Stardust, not only Special 2K eggs, also Super Incubators, which are a new item that's gonna help you hatch your eggs 1.5 times faster, and Triple Experience for new Pokedex entries. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have any new Pokedex entries that I could get. Everything that I still need are just Regionals and the rest of the Beasts, but the Beasts are gonna be switching locations in the middle of this event, so I will be able to get Triple Experience on that. I don't even I don't even see what happened to the coughing. I wasn't paying attention to the run from us, whatever. There are a lot of Pokemon Go YouTubers, and it seems like a lot of them take the approach of Casey Neistat meets Pokemon Go. Lots of cool cinematography, lots of cool shots, traveling, exploring, all that. Very cool. That's very nice. I love all that stuff. But there's really no room for any more of that, I feel like. I don't want to be just another Casey Neistat plays Pokemon Go. I really don't like exploring. Traveling is cool and fun and all, but I'm going to try to make these Pokemon Go vlogs sort of my own thing. West Park, where I'm at right now, is also supposed to be a magic carp nest, which is clearly not the case because I don't see a single carp. But since there's really no cool spawns right here, I am going to take this gym real quick. Uh, Blissey and Tyranitar, big combos. Good old fashioned. Oh, I did catch that coughing. Nice. That's good to know. I should have been paying attention. Let's see here. Let's go with a perfect IV Machamp with the right moveset. Thanks. Actually, Blissey, honestly, I really haven't battled too many Blisseys lately because I don't really play the gym game anymore. It just really, there's no point. I don't get the point. I'm just gonna, if I'm gonna battle, I'm gonna save my potions for raids. I actually have an idea for a video on how to save your potions and how to manage your resources as efficiently as possible. So if you're watching this and that seems like something that you'd be interested in, let me know what a comment down below. But for now, let's battle the gym. What else do I want? What else do I want? All right, first time battling a Blissey in quite a long time with perfect IV Machamp. Let's see if we can do any damage. All right, and we're starting off good. We're starting off hot. I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. There's really not much to talk about. Ooh, never mind. Maybe never mind. Okay, we're gonna dodge. We're gonna dodge. Okay. Um, gym battles are a really different breed from raid battles because when you're in a gym battle, you really have. Oh no! 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 Oh nope! Didn't dodge that. Event. When you're in a gym battle, you actually sort of have time to like dodge. Whereas when you're in a raid battle, you really don't. You dodge the big ones if you can with some Pokemon. Some Pokemon I dodge. Some Pokemon I don't just because their animations are too slow. But with gym battles, oh, that happens. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have even just dodged. Maybe just take that hit. But there is a little bit of strategy involved that I don't think many people talk about, such as when to dodge and when to just take the hit and just not even try to dodge. Because a lot of times I think it's better to just take the hit knowing you're going to die anyway because the extra damage from the dodge is going to be too much and just getting in a couple extra hits. First Blissey down. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll continue. Yeah, let's get this Tyranitar too. <sighs> get out of here, bug. So what's going on? What are you guys up to? How was your day? Good? Have a good day? That's good. Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked right from the get-go. Their cars are loud as hell, probably. Um, 
What? See, what was that? Did you see that? You saw that, where I, done a, I did a crap load of damage. That's an issue I have when you're battling by yourself. It seems like that you get more than with raids and with like a bunch of people. When you're battling a lot of time, and you do your special beam, or you do your special attack, and then they attack right afterwards that kills you, they gain their life back, which I don't understand. Like, I already did the damage, I'm still alive, and then you kill me. Why do you gain all your life back? Like, I, I don't understand, like, why, like, especially, it doesn't really matter in gym battles like this, because I'm gonna take it out anyway, but when it's solo raids, like Machamps, Alakazam, stuff like that, when they gain that little special back that you just knock them for, those solo raids come down to, like, a couple seconds, so losing that, why is there a ride on here? Someone added a ride on, why, they saw me doing this, how dare they? Oh, wow, I'm not even paying attention, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, let's go, come on, big boy, come on, Debret out, 96. Um, the way I'd name my Pokemon is a little bit sort of weird. I try to get the attacks in the name with only four characters, and I try to make it the same, so, like, Mudslap is always... Holy sh... <clears throat> Mudslap is always MSLP, Earthquake is always E-A-R-T, and then I put the IVs after that, just so at a glance I know what's important to power up, what's important to invest Stardust in, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's try this again now with three people in there. Hold on. You know what? What do I... What do I need here? Let's, um... Let's uh, revive up some champs. I'm just gonna revive the two champs and use other stuff. I really hate using potions um, when it's like when I'm just battling a gym because it's really just there's like so there's no reward. Um, but it's a good way I guess to get some potions out of my inventory so I can get some better items. All right, we're all healed up. Let's try this again. Getting in here with perfect Machamp. Not perfect Machamp, but still decent Machamp, and then like a Dragonite, and I don't know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Well, all right, pay attention, Dylan. Let's go. <sighs> I also don't want to do the commentator thing like uh, Mystic Seven does, just because there's really, honestly, there's just nothing to talk about. It's just button smashing. Like, there is a little bit of strategy. And I do want to talk about that when it comes up, but I don't want to just fill the time with just me blabbering on and 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 on. We can get off. All right, dodge the hyper beam. And all right, we got a dodge. Very nice, dynamic punch. I'm just gonna cut it here, and then we'll come back when I'm uh when this when these bitches are defeated. Oh my God! Somebody put in it. Who is here? Oh, people, mystic. Stick. Yeah, I literally don't have time for this. Who cares? I bite my tongue. So the moral of this story is now that I have iOS 11 and I have screen recording on my iPhone, I'm going to be able to make a lot more Pokemon videos, which is pretty cool. Um, I've been thinking about maybe using a different name for my YouTube. I know a lot of the Pokemon Go vloggers have like name, like Trainer Tips, Mystic Seven, Reversal, um, Straight Up Knives, like all those guys. They have like just different names. Um, I have a Pokemon Go Instagram that's Valor Grinder. I was thinking about calling the channel Valor Grinder. I don't know. So if you think that's cool, let me know. If not, you think that's lame, let me know that more important. Let me know that more important. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. New videos every Friday. Subscribe if you want. How are you? Nice to meet you.